first of all, Rene is still bringing the daddy vibes to the screen in that blue suit. She looked absolutely incredible. I mean, she just looked incredible with that hair and with that blue suit. She just looked incredible. There were tears coming from Lucy's eyes. Rene was just radiating fruity vibes. And oh my God, they still had that chemistry. They still had the chemistry. They still Lucy and Rene back on my screen in 2021. Oh yes. Hi guys, welcome to a video and in today's video I just wanted to talk about the epic, the epic reunion of Lucy and Renee on screen in the TV show My Life is Murder. Yeah, after years and years they were finally back on screen together and I was literally just I just, I, my mind was blown. I actually meant to talk about this with you guys a lot sooner because I've known for a while they were gonna be on screen together, but I've only just got around to watching the episode where they had the reunion and it was everything and more. It was everything and it was more. So My Life is Murder follows the adventures of private investigator Alexa Crow, played by Lucy Lawless, which is reason enough to watch it. And Alexa basically goes around solving crimes and just coping with day-to-day -day life. Unless you're very, very new to this channel, you should know that I'm a huge, huge Xena fan and I'm a huge Xena and Gabrielle shipper. I'm like obsessed with them. They're just the most romantic couple I've ever seen on screen ever you know I just I love lesbians I love fantasy yeah you can see my Xena postcards in the background like I'm just I'm a huge Xena and Gabrielle shipper I just they're so romantic and yeah so Lucy's character Alexa is investigating the death of this kind of self-help guru who runs this organization called Hex and she ends up having a lot of back and forth with this guy's wife Clarissa who is played by Renee my notes literally just say Hex daddy Ren <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, watching this episode just felt like a Xena and Gabrielle AU. Because in the show, Xena and Gabrielle would often kind of be in different realities and different universes, and they would always find their way back to each other, and this just kind of felt like it felt like that. First of all, Rene looked absolutely flawless in that blue suit, and that hair complements her so well. Like, she has still got the daddy vibes going after all these years. It is just insane. I could just see the love hearts, especially in Lucy's eyes. I was gonna say in the character's eyes, but no, that's Lucy's eyes. The bit where they're both sitting at the table and talking was just, it was so powerful. You could see the tears in Lucy's eyes. It was just surreal. It really was. And the fact that they can conjure up this chemistry after all these years is just a testament to their connection. And when Clarissa says this journey with me will change your life, I just, I was like, Oh my God. And then the tears, the tears in Alexa's eyes. Oh my God. That one scene between Lucy and Renee was more powerful and contained more chemistry than the whole of the L Word reboot. It did. There's this bit where Clarissa is stood on the stairs and she's talking to Alexa and you j I'm sorry, there was, that was fruity. It was, it was fruity. So yeah, I just, I love this reunion between them. It was just powerful and you could definitely see it was kind of emotional for both of them as well well and Renee did such a good job as that character. Renee's son also had a cameo in it but just honestly Lucy and Renee together on screen again. Mwah! Oh, it was amazing. It was everything I hoped for and more. It was. The show itself is quite frothy. It's kind of frothy daytime TV and I think Lucy does a great job in it. She has fantastic comedic timing and yeah, it's, it's kind of just like a cheerful watch, you know? I just, I need somebody to write some My Life is Murder fan fiction between Alexa and Clarissa. Like I just need somebody to write that fan fiction. Yes, I am a grown adult, but I need it. I'm sorry, there's so much shipping potential between a murderer and a private investigator. There's just so much material. Oh my god, that would be an incredible film. I'm a sucker for romance and those two are just so, so romantic and oh my god, oh my god, it was so good. Okay guys, if you've seen this episode, let me know what you think of it. Don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!